Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode on the Hermitcraft server. We are back today and things are looking good guys. But... Oh, oh, free elytra, don't mind if I do. Oh, vex rings, okay. Right, well apparently we're, you know, we are very much emphasizing the whole partnership with Concorp. I like it. <laughs> And talking of which, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, we went ahead and partnered up with Concorb for them to supply the shop with various bits of bobs. And as you can see, I believe Cobb has come over here and placed in the Concorb Proud to Partner sign, which is awesome. You know, the more peeps I can get on board to stock this shop up with various wares, the better things are going to be. Because like I say, once again, I think it's just a nice idea to have all light sources in one centralized location. But uh, yeah, guys. Guys, like I say, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. In today's episode, I intend on finishing the Lake of Life. That is right, my friends. Today, we finish the Lake of Life. We have two more builds left to do. We've got ourselves the large barn here, which is going to be a warehouse, which is also going to be the storage area of this area. And we are also going to be making ourselves a bit of a marketplace here. Now, in terms of these corner areas, in fact, to tell you the truth, none of these areas will work because obviously we need to bear in mind this is 1.14 and the villagers are going to need areas to work and sleep and all that kind of stuff. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, do a little bit of a rejiggle around with that. So, yeah. But anyways, guys, as always, if you're excited for today's episode, if you want to continue seeing Hermitcraft, then do be sure to keep on with the like ratings. I truly appreciate it, my friend. So, as you can see, I've already made a bit of a start in terms of where I want the supporting pillars to go. I've already got the floor in, and we will keep it as a full floor. So all that's left to do really is get a roof on this thing, messy it up a little bit, make it look a bit more decrepit, a little bit more medieval, put some chests inside it with item frames and whatever other wares we're going to put in there, and then work on this circular marketplace build. I don't really envision this taking too long if I'm being honest with you guys, so let's go ahead and make a bit of a start, huh? So let's begin by expanding upon the support, shall we? And maybe we could try to figure out the curvature of the roof while we're at it. Alrighty uh, guys, so we've got ourselves a little bit of a thing going on here and yeah, I'm pretty happy with the curvature of that roof right there. You know, it goes up quite steep at the side and then it sort of smooths off towards the top, which, you know, to me, really just scream barn you know that's the kind of feel i wanted to go for and by the looks of it that's the kind of feel that we've got so that's pretty cool right i'll tell you what i will do uh maybe we do a little thing here nice little entrance porch type thing uh and then maybe we could put some fences down rather like that and then some decorative leaves rather like this yeah yeah I can work with that. I think that looks pretty cool. Okay, and then we could also, in addition to all of that, we could maybe place down some uh, fences in there. Okay, so thankfully I've still got quite a lot of resources left over from the uh, previous builds we've done in this area, so that's pretty cool. Uh, but uh, yeah, guys, we are starting to get somewhere quite nicely here. So, uh, I mean, we do still have the whole fences thing going on, so eh, why not? Let's just keep it going, huh? The only thing I'm thinking of is, uh, actually, no. Hmm. I mean, if we put in chests here, we won't be able to get over this anyway to get out. So, actually, even if villagers do wind up roaming around here, we should be fine. They shouldn't ever be able to get out, hopefully. Oh, gosh darn it. Well, uh, yeah, just put another slab in. <laughs> I didn't mean to break it, man. I'm a terrible person. Oh, jeez. Okay, right. Uh, uh, ba-boom, ba-boom. Okay. And then we could probably put like an inside porch in as well. Yeah. You see? Making the plays. Ah, oh, yeah. You gotta love it, my friend. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so uh, let's maybe figure out the rest of this roof, though. I mean, to be honest with you, I mean, all we did with these ones is do it in one material and then messy it up afterwards. So maybe we'll just do that. Just keep on with that kind of idea. All right, folks. So we're just adding in the final few details to the inside ceiling here. And we should have ourselves a rather nice looking roof for this thing. And yeah, nice it looks. I'm a big fan of it. Okay, so let's have a look at it from the outside. Yeah. Okay. I am a fan. I'm a fan of that. Okay, coolio. So uh, we should probably do a little thing involving making more fences perhaps 
There we go. Uh, so we need the dark oak ones. There we go. And then we are going to very simply try to make ourselves something that looks decent here. So, uh, hmm. Maybe we could do a little thing at the front here. Oh, hello. <laughs> what? What are you doing there, sir? Huh? What are you doing there? It's not, you're not having a very good day, are you? Let's be honest here. You're really not having a good day. Hmm? I mean, he's just having a little bit of a burn session. <laughs> Those sick burns, man. <laughs> oh, what, someone's dropping a diss track on him or something? Oh, gosh. All right, well, anyways, uh, boom, boom, and boom, and a boom. That's looking pretty decent. And I'm thinking that maybe back here we could probably have, like, lanterns or something like that dangling down. I think that could look really, really nice. So, actually, when it comes down to it, I could... <clears throat> Come on, there you go. I could probably do with a little bit more lanternage. So I'm actually going to pop over to the light shop and siphon off a stack there. What am I going to do? Pay myself? Hmm? That's a crazy thing to do. That's crazy, man. Talk, dude. All right, so yeah, let's get in here real quick. I'm just going to take like one stack here. And that's all I need. That's all I need, my friends. Let's get back over there. Let's get these lanterns installed. And then maybe we can work on the storage system. I mean, I would do something fully automatic, but I don't really feel like medieval stuff suits redstone that much. I guess. I don't know. Seems a bit modern for me. <laughs> also, I can't do redstone, so yeah, that's a thing. Okay, well, anyways, uh, that's looking pretty decent. Yeah, yeah, I, could, I can roll with that. Okay, we'll have some lanterns rather like this. Just dangling down, trying to make them nice and symmetrical, right? Ah, oh, dang blast it. Well, that one went into the water, didn't it? Ah, oh, man. Okay, so, yeah, a little bit like that. Go around here. We just want to light up the outside of this just a little bit. Make it look nice. Okay, decent. You know what? I actually don't like them there. So instead, what I may do is put them here. Okay, bop and bop. Yeah, 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 that works. I'm down with that. Okay, uh, could we maybe dangle some down inside? Yeah, looks like it. I don't know what the light levels are going to be looking like. Hmm. Hmm, uh, maybe that's something we figure out as we go along, huh? So, let's try and figure out the lighting situation, and I'll be back to hopefully do the chest assortment in just a moment. So I just came to the realization of something, ladies and gents. This is what, episode 48 of Hermitcraft? And throughout the entirety of the season, I've not actually had a proper storage room. I have not had a proper storage room. I'm just trying to think my first original base had a tiny amount of storage, no proper storage system, nothing like organized or anything like that. The aquatic base over there with the beacon beams. Again, a few bits of storage here and there, but nothing really that extravagant, you know, nothing too organized. And, you know, even the skyscrapers, we don't really have any storage over there either. So, yeah, this would be our first actual storage room of this season. So we've already established that we've never fished in this season this late on. And now we're establishing I don't even have a freaking storage room this late on either. So that's kind of bonkers. <laughs> that's really kind of bonkers when I think about it, man. Ah, oh, 48 episodes and no storage rooms. Like, what is up with that, bro? It's just so weird, dude. It's so weird. Right, uh, so we can't really have anything here. Although what I was thinking is maybe in these areas we can have ourselves like a little utility type deal. So, let's go ahead and put some more little storage banks in. There we go. Uh, we'll put some in here too. There we go. Okay, looking pretty decent. And finally, oh, we're going to need ourselves a little bit more in the chest department here. But that shouldn't be too much of an issue. One, two, three, four, five, six, ideally, would be nice. There we go. Coolio. Right, so we can go ahead and get all of that placed in. And like I say, these areas can be like little utility areas. We could put like crafting tables and various other workstations in. Uh, but in the meantime, guys, we could probably go ahead and try our hand at A, messing up this build, and B, making the inside look just a little bit more interesting. I mean, what can we really do? I don't really think carpets would work here. Maybe we could break down the floor a little bit. Pfft, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess we won't know until we try these things. So, yeah, let's go and do it. Let's messy up this build, my friends. One of my favorite things to do at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do, 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 do. Just dismantling what I just made to make it look even weirder. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> this is so weird. I do love this technique, though. It's really, really fun to me. I don't know why. It's just fun. Messing up my own builds to give them a little bit more of a decrepit rundown kind of feel. I love it. I truly do. I really, really do. I, I'm glad that I learned this technique. It's it's awesome. It really, really is. So there we go. We've got ourselves a little bit of a messy up going on. And who says we have to go ahead and match the type of blocks they are? We could put in random blocks. We could put in like stairs where there's meant to be slabs. There can be like full blocks where there's meant to be stairs. You know, it's it's oh geez. You could even leave some bits out if you really wanted to to really give it a broken up feel i think it worked jeez <clears throat> yep 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 there you go oh elytra flying it's so rough on servers oh my gosh single player is so much better for elytra <laughs> All right, folks, so the build is suitably messed up now. I think what we also need to do is add a little bit of light up here simply because, well, we don't have any. Uh, so, yeah, we should probably, like, prevent mob spawns up here. So let's just go ahead and just randomly dot a few of these around. There's not really many places they could spawn even if they wanted to, but, you know, it's a case of better safe than sorry, you know what I'm saying? So on the inside here... Yeah, you see, this is the exact feel I was going for. It really, really was, my friends. I'm very, very happy uh, that we have this thing going on now. Heck yeah, dude. <laughs> That's actually really, really cool. I'm a big, big fan of that. Okay, so we could probably go ahead and decorate this maybe just a little bit. One thing I was thinking of doing is adding maybe just some dark oak you know, regular planks in here and then make the central area kind of look like a long pathway. I think that could work kind of nicely. So let's give that a little bit of a shot. And then in between the chests, we can put in some little decorative things. And you guys know what I'm about to say, don't you? You know what I'm going to say. I don't even need to say it. I'm literally just going to cut to me putting them in. Yep, you guessed it, guys. You did. You guessed it, didn't you? You, you? you did. You guessed it, let's be honest here. So there we go. Let's put them in. We've got some flower pots. King of the flower pots. We're going to keep the meme alive. You know what I'm saying? I know. It's a super old meme. Oh, yeah, old memes are the best and stuff. Well, they're probably not, let's be honest here. But oh, well, doesn't matter too much. So, guys, what we need to do is get for ourselves some smooth stone and some iron. And then I can make a blast furnace. And then I want to get in a few other crafting stations as well. Uh, a grindstone and anvil that kind of stuff uh so yeah let's go ahead and get those in oh we could also put that in to be honest with you yeah got a lot of stone cutter here in there don't you eee, not bad not bad okay so iron please there we go just a little bit will do the job real nice like okay and then we've got to smelt down some of those uh-huh uh-huh let's grab ourselves some of those okay looking good Right, let's go get the rest of the workstations in, and then I guess we can call the warehouse done and move on to the marketplace. Alrighty, guys, so there's the blast furnace. How does one make the grindstone again? It's a, oh, it's a plank and sticks and slabs. Okay, nice and easy like. Uh-huh, looking pretty cool. Okay, so we've got all of that going on over there. So why don't we go ahead and move ourselves over here? Uh, maybe we could put the grindstone just up there. And like I said, I want to put like an anvil in and maybe one other crafting station. Hmm, what other useful crafting stations are there? We'll have to figure that out. Give me just a moment here. But in the meantime, how about we just put in a regular furnace? Eh, why not? <laughs> Alrighty, guys, and all that's left to do is to add in the item frames. 44 of them, and we have ourselves uh, this thing going on here. We've got this thing going on here, and to be honest with you guys, I think that's just about it. We have ourselves a proper storage room at long freaking last on Hermitcraft. So, all that's left to do for this particular build anyway is to actually start organizing what goes into each one. So, I'm thinking this bank can be for logs, this side can be for planks and other wood related stuffs that you can make out of the different kinds of wood uh, maybe we have like a bank for stone a bank for valuable stuffs a bank for decorative stuffs leaves bushes you guys know how it goes at this point so yeah I'll, I'll do that off camera for the most part but ladies and gentlemen we have ourselves the other task for today's episode which is to go ahead and and get the marketplace up. Now, this one should be a much more simpler build because all I'm going to do is a very simple circular hut style roof. And then we need to figure out how the villagers are going to fit into this. I still want to try and get five in there, but I think I need to be a bit more smart in terms of 
how I get them in there. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. All right, guys. So, once again, let's start off with the pillars and the roof. All right, folks. I won't lie to you. It actually took a little bit while longer than I would have thought to get this roof going. What if I do that? Hmm. Not entirely sure. But if I was to put a stair there, would that smooth it off a little bit better? What if I rotated it? Uh huh. Mm, 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 I'm not, mm, not entirely sure. Let's go and put that back to how it was. And uh, guys, this is what we've got going on on the inside. And to be honest, I think it looks pretty decent. So all we've got to do is light this sucker up. We could probably go ahead and put lanterns all over the place once again. Uh, could we maybe like squeeze one in in the corners as well? Just to make sure everything's like super freaking lit up. Uh, because once we've done that, we could probably start working out uh, how the villagers are going to go in, in terms of their workstations and whatnot. So yeah, this is the space we have to work with. And what I want to do, ideally, is give them a bit of a space. So rather like that. So that could be a space, there could be a bed there, or a bed there, and then the workstation next to it. Yeah, I mean, that could work. We could probably even do something like that. That would still technically work as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the only thing is, I wanted to try and put a villager in the middle as well, like a VIV, a VIV, a very important villager. Hmm, I don't know. Maybe we just put four in and call it quits, right? Hmm. I don't know. I, I, feel, I kind of feel like I'm skimping out on you guys there. But to be honest with you, I think that is just the way to go. So, yeah. Let's roll with it. So, we've got 18 fences left to go. So, let's go ahead and do this thing. We'll put like a sort of double fence up at the side there. Give it a little bit more elevation. Okay. And we've got to do that as well. Get ourselves a few more fences. And then we'll be good to go, right? So, let's go ahead and do this. And more fences, please. Thank you. Oh, that was a lot. Heck yeah, boy. Heck yeah. All right. Boom, 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 and boom. Okay. Okay. I think I could deal with this. What if I go and do that as well? You know, extra security. Security, you know, never goes amiss on here. Uh, you know, you never know when you might have someone come over and, you know, they might accidentally kill the villagers. You know, unintentionally, might I add. But still, it's possible. What if I put those on? I mean, you can still see the villager behind it, but then again, I feel like that's a little bit too excessive. I honestly do feel like the thing that would work here is carpets, because then I could get in there. Hmm. Yeah, I think carpets will be the way to go. I know I said I wasn't going to use them over here because they're not very, you know, medieval, but what if we get, like, brown carpets? That could work, perhaps. That could work. Alrighty, guys. So here's the four workstations we're going for. The smoker will allow for a butcher to come in. A composter will be for the farmer. The loom for the shepherd. And, of course, the barrel for the fisherman. So here we go. We've already gone ahead and decorated the inside here once again with a few flower pots here and there. So there's the workstation. Uh, let's get the composter in. The loom. Bada bing, bada boom. And, of course, our old favourite. The barrel. There we go. Right. The only... Th mm. Actually, no. Mm. Hmm. I'm just trying to think, actually. Even if I get rid of that lantern there... In fact, let's just do the experiment ourselves. Yeah, okay. So, they'll just be able to walk out. Ah, that might be an issue. But, they won't be able to, like, walk out here? I mean, I'm just experimenting because if I can get out, they'll be able to get out. So, with that said... Can they? Yeah, they can, huh? Okay, maybe we restrict the roof then. Uh, so we put down some fences like that. Will that stop them getting out? What about if we do it a little bit further down? It's going to look a little bit strange though, it has to be said. But then again, okay, they could, really? They could still get out? Yeah, they can get out there. Uh-huh. Hmm. Give me a minute, guys. I need to figure this out because if I can get out, the villagers will be able to get out. All right, guys. I think I've got myself a little bit of a solution going on here. So the lanterns basically block their exit. And yeah, they should forevermore be trapped inside of these areas. But just to be on the safe side, let's go ahead and uh, put some fences up at the top sections here. Uh, all right, we can't really... Uh, we can kind of do it there if we really wanted to. Okay, we'll go with it. Uh, so, yeah, we'll have that going on. That one. And then that one. And then that one. And that one's already done. Okay, so there we go, my friends. The marketplace is officially done. I mean, I do have some carpets. I could probably just do a little thing here. Eh. Eh. Did that make it or did that break it? 
I don't really know. But the only other thing left to do, of course, is to messy up the build up top. So, you guys know how it goes. We're going to go ahead and just get this thing done. So, how many more leaves do we have? Not a whole bunch, but it'll be enough. It'll be enough, ladies and gents. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh. Hello. Right, so we're going up top here, and we're going to messy up the build once again. And then we should have ourselves a nice looking thing here, my friends. That's certainly in the intention, anyway. So, boop, let's get you in. And, yeah, just got to get it done. <laughs> let's do it, my friends. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to it, because, you know, this is our last build in this particular area, you know? It's always nice to have ourselves a project that's actually finished, you know? There's something really quite satisfying about actually finishing a project as opposed to leaving it in the dust, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Oh, the fishies have come over to play as well. <laughs> Yay, they're cheering me on. Oh, sweet. All right, folks, finishing touches and this settlement is done. Well, aside from getting the uh, villagers in, but, you know, that's, that's neither here nor there. That's something I could just do off camera so yeah aside from sorting out the storage which again will be something that's done off camera we have this project completely finished oh yeah i'll tell you something my friends like i say nothing more satisfying than actually completing a project you know what i'm saying right now if i could like eh, i'm spamming the space key there we go Ah, oh, like I say, Elytra flying on servers. It's a rough deal, my friends, it is. Especially when you're so used to playing single player and it's so smooth. But anyways, guys, like I say, all good. So let's go up here. Let's have a look at it from the top. Yeah. That is the exact vision I had in my head when I started this project, my friends. The Lake of Life looking good, I have to say. And it's done. The Lake of Life is officially done. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, I think on that successful note, we are going to be going ahead and ending this episode here. Guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have enjoyed today's episode and the, you know, the completion of this project, which, by the way, is awesome. Like I say, love completing projects. There's no feeling better than doing that. If you have enjoyed today's episode, a like rating goes a long, long way. Truly, it does, my friends. It helps out the channel, myself, and the video very, very much. Hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you guys don't want to miss out on future content. But for now, my friends, it is time for me to bid you farewell. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day, as always. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, That's a blooper word. reel. You have to use that. That's so good. That's a really good one. Okay, okay, okay. I'll let you that do it again. I really love that, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> I loved it. That was so good. <laughs> Hello!